Hello guys, my name is Khan and actually in this video uh, I will show you guys that how you can add new variables in your existing data. So if you guys remember that uh, in Google Data Studio in order to create any visualization the first thing you need is data and and after that you can create visualization over that uh, data and then you can share that report in the end. But suppose you have the data but you want to create additional variable based on the existing data you have uh, so there are few functions that you can use in data studio to create new variable so let's start and actually i will start creating a new report so i will say add a new report so i will add added a blank report but for that i will need the data so i will say create new data source and as the data i'm getting is from my google sheet so i'll say select and i'll be using this auto data so i'll say collect next so this is the data that i've also used in my previous videos so actually auto data is about the car make so they're saying so each row have a unique make and we have the price variable we have the mileage variable so there are different other variables there is also a foreign variable which is showing that the car is made domestically or in foreign so we will play around with these variables and uh, and then we we'll want to create new variable uh, in this auto data so i will say add to report so my add my data got added to the report so suppose if i am creating a variable uh, creating a bar chart so suppose this is the bar chart i have created for my report and you can see that uh, the make of the car so my dimension is make so the make variable the car makes are showing on the x axis and showing the price variable on y-axis but suppose if you made this graph and you said that okay but i don't want this make to be in this kind i want that the make is written the card make is written in uppercase uh, so you can do that in order to do that you have to play around a bit so one of the way could be that what i will do personally that i will go and if you see this on the on the right corner time the right bottom corner there is an option create new field so if i select create new field and if i select that okay make I, i'm just creating a new variable name so i'm calling it as make upper and i will be using a function which is also if you start writing down upper i've just write down you and a, uh, the google data studio have suggested me the function so i'll say upper and within the upper i will call the variable make so what this upper function will do it will call each row by row call each make of the car uh, suppose if it's toyota if it's in small letter it will make it in a uh, upper letter so i'll say okay save so the variable got, got created so if i say finished if i go back to my data view and then my data view if i see there will be a new variable make upper so instead of x axis which have a dimension make why not if i replace it with make upper so now you can see that all the makes that i have now is in in upper case so so in this example we have used the function upper but uh, we can also use many other functions so like uh, suppose if you want to create a variable uh, of price but here is the price but you want to take uh, log of price because sometimes when you are doing analysis you may need functions like log or square root uh, so you can also use this kind of function again i will go to create new field and i will say log price i'm i'm naming it as log price and then i will be here i will be using a function log and within that i will be calling this price function so i will say save 
So now let's see again if the variable got created or not. So suppose now I have a variable log price and price. I can easily see the relationship between price and log price. For if I insert a scatter plot, and let's see if I, the here the by default is uh, it, it, Google Data Studio have made it between my uh, MPG and price, but I can change the dimension. So instead of MPG, I want to see the log price. So you can see this. This is the kind of relationship between price and log price, and you can use this uh, variable that log price that you have created uh, in your charts. And I think another thing that I would like to show is that other than uh, these uh, function, you can also uh, while creating the variable, you can call multiple variables to create new variable. So what does it mean? I will just give a very naive example, uh, which may don't make any sense. Suppose if I want that these two variables to be combined, suppose if I want price underscore mpg. So I want the sum of these price and mpg. So I can easily say price. I'm calling the price then add then mpg. So it don't much make sense here, but uh, I can create this variable so so this variable price underscore mpg will be having this uh, the sum of both of these variables so this is save so now i have added the variables so both have numeric variable i can also create a log of these two variables too so i can create i can add i can uh, in, I, I will be using a log function in the start so I will say log then brackets bracket close so I will be using a log function and then within the log function I am adding these two variables so I'm just giving an ID giving you guys an example that how you can play around with these function and how you can create variable with the help by using multiple variables from your data set so let's say if I say update and you can say finish so you can see that under my variable window you can see the number of variables that i have i have log price i have log price underscore mpg and so so in this way i have created uh, you can create variable now uh, if i go back to create new fields so i will show you guys that on, once you will open this window you can see that there is a option formula if you click this help and if there is a function list available over the internet, if I say click it, so there are, there is a long list of functions that you can use uh, when you are have to create new variables. If you have to clean your data set, uh, so there are functions which are specific to numeric variable, and there are also functions related to uh, related to string variable. So re related to the string variable, I will give you two examples uh, related to the function so the first function which is very useful is uh, concat which can allow you to add uh, two strings from two variables into one variable so let's see uh, i will just close it down finish so you can see uh, before going towards there is a variable foreign in my data so before going further i will show you guys that what this uh, foreign variable captures so i will say insert bar chart so and i will just change i don't want it make i want the foreign variable so i will just drag the foreign variable of the dimension so as you can see that under this variable are we have two categories domestic and foreign uh, and suppose I want a bar chart which will be saying, telling me that this uh, make is also within that uh, bar. I also want to see that this make is domestic or foreign. So let's see how you can do it. Uh, so I will go to create new feed and I want to create, uh, so let's say, make underscore domestic. Just naming it, you can name it what the way, uh, whatever you, whatever way you want. 
So I'll be using here a function concat. And under the concat, the first thing that I want to uh, show in my string is foreign. And the next thing I want to show is the make. So, so let's see how what it what does it do so if i say concat save finished and if i just update this graph so i have a, this new variable which i have just created for you guys uh, make underscore domestic so instead of make upper if i drag this variable in my dimension so you can see that uh, what uh, Google Data Studio have done it's have added uh, the variable domestic first and then it have added uh, the car make name so as you can see again foreign uh, then car name uh, then foreign domestic then car name but there is one issue that there is no spacing between the domestic and the car name uh, so you can even do that so uh, I can even add space by using concat so there is a bit trick which you can do so I will create again a new variable suppose domestic underscore make underscore so this is the second variable that I'm creating that's why I'm just adding two for my own use so I will say concat again and in order to add spaces between two, two strings the first thing I will be using is foreign. I will take it from here, then comma. Now, instead of writing down make, I will insert two inverted commas, add space, and then comma again. And then my last thing will be make. So now let's see if I save it, finished it. I will go back to my main report. And now instead of this make underscore domestic, I will use my new variable domestic underscore make underscore two, which will probably add space between the foreign, uh, between these two strings. So foreign and the car make will be having a space in order to see that is it working or not. So let's see, I will drag it in my dimension. Now if you see under my X axis, I have a car makes have the, name but there is a domestic it is showing me that the make is domestic or foreign and but between those strings there is a space as you can see that there is a space between a foreign and pu so so in this way you can see that how you can make your graphs a bit more attractive or you can even clean your data set by using functions like concat uh, another thing now I would like to show you guys that suppose this graph that we have plotted uh, you are showing it's domestic and foreign uh, that these are the car that the car is domestic or foreign but suppose if you want that I don't want the foreign to be written down here I like it's a bit confusing and I think it's, it's better to be written as cross border instead of foreign so you can even uh, do that so there is a function which is available replace so what I will do I will say if it's foreign written down replace it by uh, replace it by uh, cross border so in order to do that what I will do I will go back to create new field and within my create new field what I will say I will write down foreign I'm just naming it foreign two because this variable actually will be derived from the foreign variable. And uh, we're saying replace, so replace those. After the replace, I will mention the variable name on which I want to run the function. So I will search it from here foreign. And after that, I will be mentioning which string. So I'm saying if it's foreign written down. So, but here I will be write down uh, my string in apostrophe. Sorry, in apostrophe sign, and then I will write down foreign. 
So if the foreign is written down under this variable name, I want it to replace it by again apostrophe marks cross border. So, so if here you can see that if there is a green sign here, it means that the formula, the way you have written down your formula is right. So, and you can save it and it will not give you an error. So, I will save it, finish. And now in this graph, instead of using foreign variable, let's if I use this foreign two variable, which I have just created, Hopefully the graph will remain the same, but our x-axis uh, labels will be, uh, instead of foreign, we will be having cross-border written down and the domestic uh, will, will be remain domestic. So let's see. And you can see that uh, uh, we now, under our foreign two variable, the graph really remains the same and our labels got changed because we have used a replace function and we have replaced the foreign by cross border. Overall, the variables foreign underscore, underscore two and the foreign variable is actually capturing the same kind of information. So in this video, I have shown you guys that how you can you add new variables in your data set in Google Data Studio and then how you can use those variables in your charts. Uh, in this video, we have discuss the functions like log, upper function, concat, replace function, and how you can use multiple variables while creating uh, the new variables. And other than that, there are many other functions available, which I have shown you guys. So suppose if you want, are interested in other function, you can click this help, and under the help, there is a function list, uh, over the internet available so you can scroll down and you can see that if there is any function that can help you you can go through this list thank you for watching the video